In this video, we'll see how to create a table and some more formatting techniques. We'll see these topics. These are topics are table style options, table styles. We have something as word arts, playing with borders, columns, rows and tables. And also we can work on merging and splitting of rows and columns. Let's see that one by one. I'll start with how to create a table. I'll press escape. Yeah. So right now I'm on the blank slide which is available if you can see on the screen. Now I'll create a table. For creating a table, there are various methods. So I'll show you the first method. I'll go to the insert tab and I'll go to the insert. If you see, I can manually select the number of columns and rows. I can select the columns and I can select the rows like this, this way. And if I click on that, the table will be created. If you see the by default, the blue color table is created. Second method that is inserting a table. You can insert the number of columns and rows. So first one I'll select here. So I'll just click on this place. You see the table is created here. Once you click on the table, I mean, once you click on the rows and columns, you get a table. If you observe, I have got two extra tabs. One is the design tab and second is the layout tab. Both the tabs have loads of variety of options which you can format the columns, cells, rows, colors. You can split and merge. Everything you can do. With. But I'll show you one more method how to create a table. I'll just press escape and the uh, table is selected and I'll just press delete key to delete the table. Second method is I can go to insert tab. I'll click on this table and I can click on this insert table. So once I click on this insert table, it will ask me how many number of columns and rows you want. So I'll say I want total number of columns as five and rows I want as I want as eight rows. So five columns and eight rows and I'll click on OK. You see the similar kind of table I've got it for five columns and eight rows are given here. Again, the same thing. I'll get the design tab and the layout tab. Now let us see how we can work on the table style options. This is the group and there are six checkbox given here. So I'll explain you one by one. So I'll just move the table on the right hand side. Yeah. Now you can see here. Uh, in the design tab, in the design tab, I have total six checkboxes. One is the header row. So if I keep on clicking on the header row, see what happens. I'll click on the header row. I'll click on the header row. You see the header row which was highlighted first with the blue color. Now it has been removed. So if I again click on that header row, you see the header row has been highlighted again. Same way, the second option is banded rows. If you observe here, the alternate rows have been colored. Those are known as banded rows. So I'll just click on it twice and thrice. You can understand. So one time, twice, thrice. You see the alternate rows have been colored here. So I'll remove the color part here. Similarly, since these are the alternate column uh, rows, I can also highlight the alternate columns. So if you if you see here, I'll select this banded columns and the alternate columns have been highlighted itself, right? Sometimes I want to show or highlight the first column. So I can use this option here as first column here. So if you observe the first column is highlighted. Obviously the colors I can choose in the next part, I can change the colors also. That is the first column and the last column means the last column sometimes we have a total or we have some subtotal we can highlight those area also now the last one is left as the total row the last row so i'll select this total row if you observe the total row has been highlighted with this color so these are nothing but table style options for the entire table which can be useful according to the requirement itself next next is if i want to change the table style here it is table styles next to this table style options. I have this table styles. I have this different types of colors and variety of lights which are given here medium light and the best match. So I'll select this color. You see the blue color which is given here. Similarly, if I keep on clicking on some other green color, this green color table is there. And like this I can select. Yeah. Since if you if you try to choose the color from this place and the color is not available as per your requirement, you can choose or customize the color from this place. You see there's a shading part here in the design there's a shading part and i can you can choose any color you want like this you can choose the red color you can choose the black color any color as per your requirement next is if you want to have the borders like this you can select the borders and the borders will be applied now this are some yellow dotted borders which is not so pleased to you know see that so you can just go to borders and uh, you can choose the color or you want only for bottom and corners outside borders and uh, like this you can choose it and you can remove the borders if you not required it and I say as no border so the border will go away so this way you can insert or remove the border next is if for a table if you want to have some style that is the effects so you can choose the effects what kind of effects you want shadows or reflections 
if I select for shadows, there will be a shadow reflected. Do you want on the inner shadow or the outer shadow? So I'll say I want the inner outer shadow. I'll select this option. You see, there's a slight shadow which is given here and you can also increase or decrease the shadow part. So this is how you can create a table, table style options. We have seen the table styles and few border and shading part. But I'll show you one more method. If you want to create a table, not the, by this method, by some other method, the last one, I'll just press escape and delete, select and delete delete the third method and the last method if I want to create a table inside my uh, PowerPoint with the help of Excel so I can go to this tab and you see as yes, Excel spreadsheet so now Excel spreadsheet will be created in this slide and I'll get the menu bars or tabs of Excel so I'll just click on this Excel spreadsheet the moment I click on Excel spreadsheet you see this is what I've got it and if you see the tabs have been changed from PowerPoint tab to the Excel tab and I can just maximize it like this this way so whatever functions I was able to use in Excel all the options I can use it here itself now you might be asking what is the benefit of using this Excel into the PowerPoint the benefit is you can write all the formulas you can write all the functions you can create charts you can put pivot tables things which are difficult in PowerPoint can be used here itself so I think this would be the better method and uh, for a calculation purpose it is much more easier to draw a table same things you can use it so I hope you have understood how to create diff tables different types of tables into the PowerPoint and that's all for this video